Hi everybody, welcome back to Built in a Book Campus. I'm actually in the middle of uh, the paint job on Covey at the moment, but I've needed to have a look in here. And I thought, while I'm having a look, I might as well do a quick tour of it because I'm actually in the point where I'm at looking to strip stuff out of it. So before I do that, I want to show you. The weather's been a bit confusing. It's sun shining and raining at the same time. How, I don't know. Right, this is the back end of the bus. Let's show you. Right, it is an Iveco Daily Iris bus and it's made by Mella. So it does have the disabled lift, which we're going to drop out of it. Let's go in for the back. There's all the control box and everything for the lift. Now, when we bought the bus, they said this floor is raised. I didn't know how much. So I've drilled it with this. And I've gone through a hole and I've not even hit the floor. Oh, what a waste of floor that is. Absolute total waste. But we're gonna get that floor back. So this will be lowered. We'll have more head height. All those seats have got to come out. Um, let's go around. So plenty of windows, plenty of glass. So that space there is going to be a shower. No doubt about that, that's going to be the shower space. And mind you saying that, if the floor is going to come down that much, we should have a shower in another place. I don't know, God. So driver's seat. And yep, there's plenty of space to put the passenger seat in, which we will be doing. <sighs> plenty of room all the way out the back there and in there is all the air conditioning and that goes all the way back along there so if you can see me stand up now and let me show you my head touches the ceiling so we're going to drop that floor and let's look from the back so yeah lots to strip out lots to get rid of and lots to do that's about it as far as the tour goes for the moment um we'll be cracking on with this a little bit and as always you will be coming along for the journey if you want to of course so if you do want to subscribe please subscribe i'd love you to because at the end of the day it doesn't cost you a single penny to subscribe to my channel i don't charge it's down to youtube for that and hopefully they don't charge I hope, let's hope they don't get that in their head but it really helps me um helps support me helps me do the things i do to show you how to do them or show you how not to do them depends which the case may be so we have a name for this bus yes we do and it's called kong um as time goes on we will reveal why we've named this bus kong um yeah it's quite a funny little story but anyway never mind right what i must do now i must go and crack on it's huge love it i'll be having some fun underneath have a look yep i've dropped the lift out once you've taken off all the controls there's literally eight bolts on four brackets holding that to the chassis I have no idea how heavy it is, but I'm about to find out shortly. So I'm not gonna put me back out by a long shot. And if it's too heavy, then I'll be dragging it out with the truck.
there everything? Here today in the workshop, or should say outside the workshop, it's a glorious day, so we're doing something um, on the new bus. And this is more of a sort of type of tutorial, showing you how I do it, um, which would be useful for any van, not just this van. So what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna show you how to go from your plain windows like this to nice limo tinted windows like this. So yes, we are playing around with the uh, blackest type of tint you can get that you can still see through, limo tint. I was gonna go slightly lighter on this, but I have my reasonings to go in so dark. And that will all become apparent on this vehicle as we go along. But I know we're working on many different vehicles, but the reason I'm doing this one today is because it's a different job completely. We've not done this yet. Although we've had window tinting done on the traffic, we've got somebody in to do that. Because these windows are flat, I've decided to have a crack at this one myself. Anyway, less talk, more action. This is how I do it. So I know there's gonna be people out there saying, no, you don't do that. This is how I'm doing it. I have my reasons why, so please just let me do it. If it's wrong, it's wrong, but it's worked because I've done the windows the other side so far, and they're big ass windows, trust me. They are a pain to do, especially when they're that big. And I've done the two lower windows on the back doors. So let me show you. Just there, I've done that one. I've not done that one yet. So I'm gonna be showing you on the upper half of the door so you can see how I do it. So the first part of the process for this is I need to clean the window and clean all the surrounding bits to stop any debris or anything getting onto the film when I lay the film on the window. So first part of the process, clean. Right, so when cleaning your window, fill yourself a spray bottle with water and just add a couple of drops of cheap washing up liquid. Don't use your fairy, your purse or anything like that, you want a bottle of cheap. Something from your little sort of one stop anything, something cheap. Um, you're looking just to make it a little bit slippery but also to clean it as well. So as I said the first part is cleaning. So. Spray the window. Make it nice and wet. Now get yourself one of these little scouring sponges, wet that, and then literally scrub the glass with a scouring pad, especially around the outsides. That will get most of the dirt off. Then you need to scrape the window. Best of getting one of these type of scrapers which window cleaners use. And again, make sure the window's nice and soaked. And scrape it. You scrape away any dirt, any bits that are stubborn that wouldn't come off with that scourer will come off with a blade. I 
right i can see lots of little bits down here which is coming off with this scraper so don't rely on a scourer to get 100 percent clean window cleaners use this to clean glass and so do a lot of the window tinting professionals so right i'm going to give it another spray quite a wet spray so any other debris on there now i'm going to wipe that my t-shirt And what I'm going to do, I'm going to give it one more go with this. So now I've given that a good scrape and a good scrub. I'm going to wet it down again. That's helping any sort of debris or anything on the window go to the bottom. Get yourself a little squeegee. So there you go still wet around the outsides so when wind attention it's all about keeping this wet Right, so now I need to cut the film to size. And when you're using film, get yourself one of these retractable blades. And when you're using it on glass, make sure whatever you purchase, you use a stainless steel knife. Um, you can get these on Amazon. All the stuff that I'm using in this uh, when the tinting process today, I will leave descriptions in the link below. Test today, I will leave descriptions in the link below. Test today, I will leave descriptions in the link below. And at least with a stainless steel blade, you have less chance of scoring or cutting the glass, believe it or not. So also when you're cutting on the glass, so if that's your piece of glass, keep the knife at a very low angle. Not pointed like that, you want it low. Right, let me cut the film and I'll be back to you. Because I bought a 30 meter roll of this film uh, to make life easy for myself. Right, so there's a protective film on this. Now, do you know, I can't even remember today which side it's on. So. Right, so the protective film on this roll is on the outside of the roll, like so. So what we need to do is make sure that protective film is facing outwards when we lay this on the window and cut it. So first thing to do, soak the window down. like so nice and wet 
and then lay the film on the window. Now I know, obviously the top and bottom edge on this window, nice and flat. So I'm gonna push that into the top, like there. Push that into the edges. So always cut your film bigger than you need it. Right, so there you go. As you can see, got a lot overhanging here, a lot overhanging at the bottom, and a little bit over here. So what I'm gonna do first, you notice how it keeps slipping. I bought a bag of window tinting tools on Amazon. So that, so this, we make this stick and it doesn't drop. Squeeze the water out at the top, and a bit further down. That will help it stick to the window while we cut. Don't have to push hard. Most of the water's out, that's fine. Now get yourself a straight edge. And there's one in the pack. Squeeze it into the edge. And I get my knife. I'll do it over this side so you can see it easier. So here, I squeeze this into the edge. Try and get a little crease going in there. And then, because obviously you've got the black bit there, I'm gonna hold the straight edge like so. You can watch as I cut downwards. Always watch the top of the film to make sure you're not dragging it down. And then what I do is I cut outwards, away from the window. So I'm cut now, that will tear it out. A lot of people tear it, I use a knife to cut it. So, if we go up the window now. Most of it's cut. Okay. Push that back on the window. I need to pull that down slightly because it's a bit too high. If you can't move it about, if you can't move it about, give your window another spray down. Put it back on. Like I said to you, I'm no professional at this. I 
but I'm willing to try anything to see how hard on a scale of 1 to 10 it is. Difficulty on this, I'll put about 6 or 7. So then we go to the other side, and now we cut down from the top again. Let's see if that's come up okay. <clears throat> Right, so there you have it. I've managed to go from the top. Nice along the top there. Nice cut down the side, on each side. Now we need to cut the bottom bit off. So it's exactly the same process. Try and get a crease in there. Right, if you've noticed, I've overcut there a little bit, but because I've got a bit to play with at the top here, we can pull it down when we put it on. So again, it's not perfect. Damn close, but not perfect. Right, so next process is pull out a corner. And Right, so, we put the backing off. <clears throat> Let's get some water up there, because it's so warm, it's starting to dry out. No, I'm not a luck, am I? Right, so, spray some more water up there, put it back up, try again. Put that film off. Because it's, it's so warm in here, it's all drying out very, very quickly. All right, so. I think we might have cracked it. Right, the key here, because it's sticky, keep it wet. Make sure it stays wet. And get yourself ready with all your tools. I'm going to need this one.
Right, when I pull that film off of there, I need to spray the window again. The last thing you want on this window is any contaminant. Right. Right, squeegee out from the top. From middle outwards. So, best way to squeegee is down. Because that's, water runs downwards. It's gonna run downwards. So the top you squeeze up. Spray the window so you don't scratch the film. Check. Right, down the bottom of the window here, you can't see. They're like, they call them fingers. Everybody talks about them on these window tinting tutorials, and they'll show you a lot closer views of it. I'm just gonna show you a basic, this is a basic tutorial. And they say, make sure you push these fingers out. And all it is is where water's underneath. And this film only stretches downwards. because I found when I was doing the other windows yesterday, it got the fingers out really well. If you buy one of these kits, there's all sorts of squeegees and bits and pieces in there. You will find what you're comfortable with. Right, there is another knack. 
if it doesn't stick, we're having problems. It's usually at the edges where the fingers are. It's to use a heat gun. I've got a heat gun here, but the best way to do it is heat from the outside. So I'm gonna put the heat gun outside. But don't heat up too much that it melts the film inside. Now I've got rid of all the fingers at the bottom of there. So because these little dotted areas around the edges are a problem, I'm gonna give that a proper squeeze out. And I found this rubber edge squeegee is perfect and gets the closest sort of meat with a film in between. Right, by no shot of the imagination, it is done. As you notice, there's a tiny little gap at the top there. And yes, there's a tiny little gap there. So again, it's not perfect, but it's the best I can do. And I'm happy with it. And by the time I do with the other bits and pieces with these doors and windows, any little gaps there are, which I hope there's not too many, will be filled out with surroundings and edgings and bits and pieces. Hi everybody, well you've just watched a video of me tinting the window on the new bus. So very challenging type of job, I love doing it but I don't think I could do that as a full time job. Um, I don't think I have the patience to be honest with you but that's just me. Um, but I had to have a go at it, like anything else with these projects. I like to try and find out how difficult these things are so you can have a go yourselves and try and show you the way I would do it. I'm not saying my way's always right, I'm not saying it's wrong, but it's how I do it, how I've done it, and to be honest with you, it's come out quite well and I'm quite happy with the finished product. Right, um, as I'm filming this ending, quite a lot sort of later than I actually filmed the videos, um, I'm gonna give you a quick sneak of it actually where we've got the bus now. Um, or where Kong is actually sat and what it looks like. And it's not white anymore. It's now very, very, very black. So yeah, we've painted it. And I'll tell you something, it's another job. I've painted panels in the past. I've done bits of all sorts. I've not even sprayed a car, but I had to have a go at doing this. And I'll tell you something, I talk about chucking myself in the deep end and oh, it's thrown me some challenges it's definitely thrown me some curveballs and i'll show you one of them right now actually because it's causing me a real issue but i have a plan to sort it out and if i can't sort it out then i have another idea so the bonnet is obviously reacting on something i don't know if you can see that um so little bits of crackling and when I say to you, no matter what I do, it keeps happening. Now I know there's loads of spray painters out there screaming at me saying, strip the bonnet back to metal. Yeah, I ain't got time. I really ain't got time. So I have another fix for it, if I can't get it right. And to be honest with you, that fix is gonna get it wrapped because I thought about having it wrapped in the first place to match the cupboards and things inside the van and but we we'll see right now I want to give it a go at spraying painting it gloss black yeah I didn't even pick the easiest color to be honest with you I picked the worst color on earth to try and spray it was thundering anyway that's all I've got time for now so please subscribe there's so many people watching my videos but are not subscribing that's really noisy in the background so on that note 
it's all I've got time for, so it's bye from me. I hope you're staying safe, I hope you're staying well, and most of all, staying very, very, very happy. And it's bye for now.